Okay guys, so today I want to talk to some of you new guys about batteries. I mean, I'm going to talk about other stuff eventually, but today the focus is batteries. And I know batteries aren't the most fun thing to talk about. They're not, you know, while they're wholly responsible, they're not often given the credit for the clouds they make. But the fact is, discussion needs to happen. And I'd like to see it start happening more and more. Misuse, mishandling of batteries can lead to a very bad day for anyone. You know, proper use, proper handling can lead to a cloudy day, <laughs> for lack of a better way of putting it. And I know it seems like I'm overstating it, but I really ain't. I'm really not. Because, well, I honestly thought this was something that was covered more than it ever needed to be. It seems like every few months I'm hearing about someone blowing their hand off because they're doing something stupid. So, I guess I better get right into it. Now, first off, as far as... As far as brand new vapors, you know, I'm going to put this in as simple a way as possible. Go buy a set of good 18650s. Personally, I'm going to recommend you to Sony BTC4, Samsung 25Rs. Then, I, then go buy a regulated mod. And I'm not being smart here. That's the best thing if you don't understand these inside and out. And honestly, if you're not if you're not very experienced because even if you do everything safely a regulated mod isn't for everyone and when I say that I mean especially if you're not sure exactly what you're doing and a lot of new guys are gonna be using tanks in fact, I would not, if someone came up to me and said, hey, hey, water, I want to start vaping. What do you suggest? I will not tell you to get an RDA. They're, uh, I mean, uh, that's a video for another time. But, the, I mean, that is the key takeaway. But as far as a more in-depth thing, you know, for the guys that want to look, you know, to the unregulated space. I'm gonna tell you get get a very specific set because they're honestly the best set out at this time. And that would be your Sony BTC fours, and they're kind of hard to get. They're expensive when you find them, but by the time you're gonna use a resistance to cause that cell to rupture, make it dangerous. You shouldn't be building, or you shouldn't be building on a, on an 18650 mod. And by that point in time, they're a lot better off, you know, you're, you've moved up in battery size, and you should be very familiar with what you're doing. But, point is, regulated mods have all kinds of protections all kinds of protections that my mechs don't. And that's very much a thing that, once again, you need to be aware of. So, with a good set of 20 or 25 amp batteries, you have a little bit of buffer in there. If you try to tell it to, tell it to do something that the battery can't, the mod's got circuitry in there, it's going to tell it, hey, I can't do this. I was going to tell you, battery's bad. Or the battery's low, so adjust what you're telling it to do. And things will be okay. Most of them are variable voltage, variable wattage. So you can tell it. So if it says, hey, you're telling me to do something I can't do, you can back it off a bit, see if it'll do that. And generally, you're going to be fine and dandy. But, 
You don't get that with mechanical, solid metal connections, any of that nonsense. You know, which, like I said, is dangerous. So, I mean, my main, I guess, if I get down to it, my main point is, as a new vapor, you, sh you, you shouldn't be looking at your, at your mechanicals, and you should buy, maybe not VTC4s. I mean, like I said, they, they are very good batteries, they're some of the best I've ever used, but they're also a little pricey, a little hard to come by a good set. And when I say good set, I mean be careful. Be careful, there are companies out there that are unscrupulous, shall we say. That'll throw they'll throw a wrapper on a battery. May not be exactly a company's logo, may not some companies don't put logo logos on the battery, especially if you buy them in bulk. You know, which makes them very easy to counterfeit enough to make a sale. I mean, that's very much a thing. So buy from reputable people when you're trying to get good batteries. Now, now that's out of the way. I do need to make another point, another statement. There are a lot of mods out there that are coming in kits nowadays. Coming with a tank, coming or tank or RDA, coming with a mod. Usually, it has an internal battery. Now, with those, you have no control over what kind of what kind of hit you're getting. Now, generally, those are also regulated, so you can back them off as need be. And generally, they have a specific limit, obviously specific limit as to what that battery can do, and it's usually not nothing impressive. But at the same time, it's also clearly defined. And when I say that, I mean with my regulated or unregulated stuff, I need to be familiar with a whole bunch of stuff that on the surface has nothing to do with vaping. And that can be a lot more than a lot of new vapors want to do. So, like I said, if you're new to this, get a regulated mod. It's, it's easier... It's just generally an easier thing to deal with. And once you get past that point, you know, what else there to say? General battery care stuff, you know, get a proper battery case. I've seen I've seen people throw batteries in their pocket and cause significant harm to themselves, usually in the form of burns. I don't drop them, puncture them play hacky sack with them, throw them at people, uh, you know, take a saw to them, take a soldering iron to them, expose them to significant temperatures, either hot or cold, uh, for prolonged periods of time, if it can be avoided. Uh, throw Some people will tell you, use the battery till it's no good anymore. That is a general safety rule. I, I get rid of mine at about the end of a year, give or take a little bit. And I only do that because it's, for lack of a better way of putting it, I'd rather, I'd rather spend a few extra bucks than find out that, hey, this battery's, this battery's on its last leg. So there are generally warning signs typically to the tune of, you know, taking longer to charge, not getting as long out of them, that kind of stuff. And, I mean, aside from all that, you know, I I don't like hearing about guys getting hurt over poor battery care, using a battery improperly, something like that. I mean, even the guys are, and I mean, this... There are about a million and a half people that can go in depth, tell you everything you need to know about batteries. You know, but a lot of people think that's something that the experienced guys only really need to know about. All the new guys that aren't doing something crazy don't need to know it. But you do. You really do. 
and oh, I just kind of a little after point. You know, when I said use your regulated mods. If you're getting something with external batteries, buy a charger, buy a quality charger. Personally, I suggest uh, Nightcore's IntelliCharger. I'm not selling it for them. They don't even know who I am. But, you know, Nightcore, uh, I heard EFest makes a good charger. You want one of those. I mean, they're big, they're bulky. Yeah, I know. But who's charging their batteries in their car, really? And... That big and bulky, that's taking it, so you're not, I've seen travel chargers blow, you know, cheap, cheap junky chargers, some companies will send you a charger with their batteries, you know, some of the really cheap companies, Ultrafire I know has been known to do that, and their char the charger's trash, every time, you know, that charger, put simply, battery will get full and it won't tell the charger that it's full. And the charger will keep trying to charge and then you get an overcharge situation which can lead to very bad things. I've heard of house fires. I've I've seen batteries when you're using that char charger they get excessively hot and I mean all during charging and discharging all batteries get hot. That's the way it is. That's, that's not what you worry about. It's when you worry about that you need to worry when they get really hot really fast and once again that's something you will learn with experience you know so just guys keep be careful with these batteries don't don't get crazy I mean get crazy all you want when you know what you're doing but when you're new